Right now we're with Penny and we're in Cassville Station. Nice to meet you, Penny. Nice to meet you, David. All right, what is Cassville Station? <laughs> It's a, a hangout place. It's a place to come, of course, find good, I call it good junk, antiques, everyday use furniture. Um, it's a place to unwind, therapy shopping, grab a bite to eat, fill your belly, and just know that you're family when you're here. How long you been here? I've been here seven years. And you were downtown before that? For seven years. Why did you move from downtown to here? I outgrew that spot the first three months I was there. <laughs> So I just wanted more space. And is this enough space for you or are you outgrowing this? No, I'm maintaining this one. <laughs> now what kind of antiques you got here? What do you got? Well, we got Duncan Five. We got stuff from the 30s. Um, stuff all that from uh, retro, vintage, uh, to everyday, contemporary. Just a little bit of everything. Now you said you wouldn't mind Cassville Station being just kind of a, a hangout. No. What do you mean by that? I want you to come. And, and, and you could take off your shoes if you want to and right. prop them up, on the, relax on the couch here, sit here, watch TV, read a book, uh, chit chat, chew the fat, bring a banjo. I mean, we're just laid back. Just hang fast. out. Just hang out. And you're not going to just sit around playing on your laptop or whatever you want to do? And... Whatever makes you happy. It is a relaxing place. You're a restaurant? Yes. What, what, are, you, what are you known for in the restaurant? What, do you, what, do you, what is your specialty? I got started with soups. Everybody okay. loves to homemade soups. But the barbecue took off. Right. Um, barbecue what? What do you got? We got barbecue sandwiches in our ribs. Okay. I'm no expert, no culinary artist. I just sort of say, Lord, show me what to put on there, throw it on there, <laughs> and pray it turns out good. And so far, everybody's always loved the barbecue and, and my sandwiches. Do you have a repeat business? Yes. Especially with the barbecue right. and our big old elbow licking sandwiches. Elbow licking sandwiches. Elbow. Everything for me has got to be juicy because I can't stand nothing dry. And it's good. Okay. Is it is it affordable? That's the main thing. Is it? I, I, I think so. I, I don't think with a name like Penny Cash that right. I'm not going to get um, huh. anything too expensive. I'm about as cheap as they come. So I try to price everything what I think everybody can afford. When are, when are you open? What are your hours? Wednesday through Sunday for shopping, 10 to 6. Right. 1 to 5 on Sundays to get food, Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 6. And you deliver also, what I understand. Yes, we started the delivery business mostly for people like myself who are stuck and they can't leave their business. So we travel to business people delivering food. And we're fixing to start delivering to the local neighborhoods around here. Woo! So planters, help me out. Antigua, China States, y'all should be supporting the little local business right here under your nose. Yes, you should. Do you have a website or anything? Working on it. Waste Facebook page. You're all over Facebook. I see you all over Facebook. Yes, I love Facebook. I love Facebook. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, you're, so you're on Facebook. We're on Facebook. And we do have a web page. It's called CastleStationAuction.com. Okay. So we've got one going there, but we're going to upgrade it to where it's specializing on here. How would you describe the location? Where are you located? We're on Highway 41 North, right. just past the Bartow County buses. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. On the right hand side, kind of a little Cracker Barrel feel. Right. So that little gravel um, driveway will yeah. lead you to great finds and good food. Everybody, Penny Cash, Cassville Station, thank you for joining us. Thank you. <laughs>
Hey, this is Angelo at Angelo's New York Style Pizza and Bistro here at West End Commons Shopping Center. Hey, check it out. Look what we did outside. We did an outside patio awning. Use it for all occasions. We've got the best New York Style Pizza in Cartersville. Pasta dishes, seafood dishes, anything you want, we got it here at Angelo's. Come check us out here at West End Commons. Hi, this is Todd Browning with Todd Browning State Farm in Cartersville, Georgia. Come down and see us on 135 East Felton in Cartersville. You can find us by the big fire truck, you can't miss it. At State Farm, we've got over 100 products to meet your insurance and financial needs. And at State Farm and Todd Browning Agency, you're more than just a number, you're a neighbor. We'd love to make you part of our State Farm family, so come in, call in, click in, whatever works for you. We'll wrap all of your insurance needs in the best customer service you'll ever find. Thank you. I'm Carrie, and I'd like to welcome you to the North Point Food Pantry at our Impact Building located at 4645 Joe Frank Harris Parkway. We're about half a mile north of the Eagle Mountain Subdivision in Adairsville, Georgia. If you come on with me, and we're going to show you a little bit about what we do and who we are here. Once you're inside, you should already have been given a number. You're going to come on in, and then once you're inside, you're going to go into our other room there where you can fill out some paperwork for the government. And then you're going to have a seat and sit on down and we'll call you by number and get you all checked in. But while you're waiting, we have something special in store for you. We have a hair salon um, that you can just sign up for if you have a job interview or a special occasion coming up. We have some ladies that want to love on you through cutting your hair and washing it and all that good stuff. There's lots to do around here. We're in the back now where, it, where all the action happens. There's packing boxes, loading potatoes, and, and doing paperwork back here. And you'll just see all the, all the movement and action going on around here where the volunteers in the back keep us moving. As we mentioned, this is part of um, North Point Church. It's an outreach ministry. And we've been operating for about four years. We started out at Hands and Feet Ministries doing, oh, maybe 30 families a week, and we have grown into doing over 300 families a week when we're open. Um, when you come in, we try and, and give you a good amount of groceries, and we serve approximately 1,200 families a month right now. Uh, and, and about food, that translates to, oh, 64,000 pounds of, of food or so. Um, the food pantry is completely funded by North Point uh, Church. We do, however, receive donations and offerings from, from other areas. So if you would ever like to, to donate some food, we are happy to receive it. Hi, I'm Larry Jennings with First Response Plumbing. We fix water lines, sewer lines, camera, jet, repair faucets, whatever you might need for his plumbing, give us a call. The name is First Response Plumbing, 770-386-5222. Thanks again, First Response Plumbing. First Response Plumbing. I'm Dale Yarbrough. This is my wife, Kathy. We own the Guardian Total Pest and Termite Control and Lawn Care. We've been serving Cartersville, Bartow, and surrounding counties for over 20 years. We provide exceptional service with guaranteed results. Give us a call, 770-386-9985, or visit us on the internet, guardianpestandlawn.com. Welcome to Musky Dines, supplies to make your own beer, cheese, wine, and shine. We have all your custom juice kits and beer kits. Just in time for the holiday gathering, a Cranberry Chianti from Juice to Wine in 29. Our beer kits will make 50 beers in three weeks. Formerly the Old Goat Winery, we're located at 640 North Tennessee Street. Y'all stop by and see us, you hear? Musky Dines, and I'm wanting to tell you about our open house December 8th 
come in and see all of our secret surprises for Santa and all the discounts that you can get and all the gifts and food that we're going to have. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> see you at Musky Dines. This is our room in the middle of change. We um, Currently it's our overflow room where we do some paperwork, but it's becoming our doctor's offices that will be open at least once a week, maybe more. But as well as having um, a doctor's clinic in here, we're also gonna have a chiropractor. We have people from, from North Point Church that have so many different gifts and, and ways of loving on people that they're just excited to share those with everybody. And, and even chiropractors can, can find a way to crack your back in love. <laughs> All right, when you come to the Impact Building, you're not just gonna receive groceries, but you're gonna receive um, the Lord as well. And we have a couple of ways to do that. We have Miss Jackie here who stays in our main room and she wanders around just fellowshipping with people and asking if they need any prayer. And she will spend time with you doing exactly that, praying and talking to you and loving on you. And Kelly has a different ministry in that, that she loves on you through cutting your hair. And she takes the time to wash your hair and, and give you that nice head rub that everybody loves. And then she sits you in your chair and just spends time with you and talking to you while she's cutting your hair and you walk out of here looking wonderful. So we have lots of ways to love on you when you come out to the Impact Building. We get really excited when we have families that come in that we're serving who want to return the favor by volunteering. And we never want to discourage somebody from volunteering but North Point Church, that's part of their gift, is to serve this community. And we, we have so many volunteers that it's a blessing run over. So if you're interested in volunteering in your community, you can call the United Way at 211 on your cell phone, and they have opportunities all over the county and can tell you exactly what those are and the ones that are going to best suit, um, suit your needs. And as well as that, if you would like to um, call the Impact Building, find out when we're open or what our hours are, you can call 770-334-8435 and it will give you an updated status on our, um, on our weekly hours because we do close every third week and we don't want to catch anyone unawares. I thank you for your time. We're so excited to meet you and have you here. Come and let us love on you. Hey, when's the last time you checked out Treasure Chest? Here at Treasure Chest, we've added a line of new furniture, but we're still the same Treasure Chest. We still have used furniture, we still have used appliances, we still have good quality knickknacks for your house that you want to collect dust with. So come on by at Treasure Chest, see us, let us make a deal. We're located at 188 North Morningside Drive, directly across from Hobby Lobby. Or you can check us out on Facebook. Come by and see us. We can save you money. Looking for great skin? Look no further. Reflection Skin and Laser Center, Cartersville's top medical spa, offers all your skin care needs. Medical grade skin care, laser hair removal, Botox, dermal fillers, dermal planing, chemical peels, microdermabrasion, you name it, we carry it at Reflection Skin and Laser Center. Call 770-383-3552 for your free skin care consultation. Hey guys, here we are again, West Shelly and I, right across from Quick Trip on Highway 41. Your source for guaranteed and cheapest pricing on uh, flooring, hardwood, laminate, engineered, cabinets, furniture and oak, handmade, unfinished cabinets, heating and air, stretch and dim. Why pay full price, guys? We can save you. We're running that closed blood cut special on these stoves right here. 249 doors, cheap. I got a full warehouse, guys. Call us, 770-334-8339. Todd Thanks. Browning in his State Farm office. Good to see you, Todd. Good morning. Good to see you, too. Hey, y'all look great in the parade, let me tell you. Thank you. Thank First you. class, your fire truck just stands out. Listen, we had a ball. You know, this was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, Cartersville really goes all out on the Christmas parade, so we had a really good time, so thank you. Is this office easy for people to find because of that fire truck? You say Felton Road fire truck. That's all you have to say is look for the fire truck. Most people have already seen it from one reason or another from going driving by. So yeah, they know where it is. It helps a lot. It's a fantastic billboard. All right, Christmas is here. You're in, you're in insurance. That's what you do is insurance. Mm -hmm. Uh, anything we need to be careful, watch out for, or anything in the Christmas season? You know, there is, David. I'm glad that we're, we're talking about that. You know, this is a fantastic part of the year. You know, um, you know, obviously, first and foremost, let's, you know, we need to remember what the Christmas season is really all about. And, uh, but, and I try to have a safe and, uh, and, and happy holiday. A couple little things that we see as an insurance agency, 
Um, you, you've seen these tips over the years, but it never hurts to remind you. Try to keep plenty of water in your tree. Uh, fires tend to break out a lot during the holiday season. People tend to overload outlets in the wall with Christmas lights and blow up things in the front yard and the, the Griswold look in their house. Uh, so try not to overload your outlets. Um, try to make sure you keep lots of water in your tree. Try not to leave your trees and your, your things on if you're not at your house because those are the, the number one way that fires start. Another nice little tip is if you do are fortunate enough or blessed enough to get a really nice gift, be sure to check with your insurance agent because there are some things to make that you want to make sure that that thing is covered adequately. So most importantly, have a safe and a happy holiday. So thank you. Being in this business, can you usually count on a call around Christmas? Oh, absolutely. Everybody, everybody starts in with someone wanting something new for the holiday. So either something's going to catch on fire or for hopefully not, but you, or they're going to get a brand new car, or they're going to get a, a nice, a shiny diamond ring. So we, we we hope to get the good calls during this time of year. So yeah, teenagers get new cars and stuff. That'd be they do. Point, teenagers uh, get new cars. The other thing that you know, you have you have to say it. Um, the thefts break out a little bit more during this time of year. So be very careful about leaving things garages open. Um, you know, it's a tough economy right now, so be sure you don't leave presents in your cars when you're out shopping. Cover things up. Make sure they're locked in a trunk somewhere. Um, you don't want to encourage people to do something that, you know, maybe make a bad decision. So, Everybody, Todd Browning with uh, Todd Browning State Farm Insurance right down here on Felton Road. You can't miss the fire truck. Good to see you, Todd. Good to see you guys. Thanks. Take care. in commas today. Randy, let's talk about our restaurants. I'm getting hungry. Where should we go eat? That's a great idea. Let's take a look at our restaurants at West End Commons. at West End Commons. Well, this made me very hungry. I hope you come eat with us at West End Commons. And check out that fine bakery, too. Hey, this is Amanda at Southeastern Auto Works, where we do classics, customs, and collision work. We do collision work out of pocket or through any insurance company, so you can get other estimates other places and bring them here, and we can beat estimates, and we also save deductibles on insurance up to $500. We also do classic restoration, so you can come by any time and see what we have going on. You can find us on the web at www.southeasternautoworks.com or call us at 770-606-0665. immediately. We also have digital x-rays. Come on down to Pet Vet Clinic. We're located at the corner of Burn Hickory and Mission Road. Our business hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. We're here Saturdays from 8 to 12. Hope to see you soon. Hi, we're here today at the Clarence Brown Center and I'm here with a couple of people to talk about the upcoming audition for Every Child's Star. Now I would like to start with Denise Archer. She's the owner and operator of Arco Ideas and Designs and Denise, for those who don't know, could you just tell us a little bit about what exactly is Every Child's a Star? Every Child's a Star is the most fun event that Cartersville's had for an ongoing 20 years. This will be the 20th wow. year. Mm -hmm. And nothing can be more fun than watching 
this fabulous array of children and young adults who perform every array of talent singing, dancing, magicians, bands. I mean, it's just wonderful. It is exciting. And you know, it is a fundraiser and the money goes towards Advocates for Children, which is a nonprofit that helps with the treatment and prevention of child abuse and neglect. But you know, Denise, what a lot of people don't realize is that um, they need funds because only half of their budget is covered from federal and state funds. And so you actually are the founder as well of Every Child's a Star. This year we're celebrating 20 years. So how did this idea come about? Well, the, for the, it started as just a think tank with Terry Nelson, Becky Gaylord, Donna Clayton, and we were all thinking about how do we raise awareness of the value of our young people? Because, um, I mean, 20 years ago, child abuse was not as commonly known. And we thought we've got to raise awareness of the value of our young people. And um, Becky Gaylord and some others were wanting to do a little street fair with booths about mm -hmm. the children and about the fairly new organization, Advocates. And just because I have a theater background, I said, let's do a talent show. And we'll do it from kindergarten through senior high. And everybody said, sure, let's do it. Well, it must be wonderful to realize that something that you started, you brainstormed on, it's still been around for 20 years. I don't know of another fundraiser that's actually lasted that long. People get burned out, the city gets tired of it, but every child Every Child's a Star is a tradition that has been around for 20 years. Mm -hmm. So we thank you so much for all of your work and the work that you put into it. And you still put into it because your company helps print and advertise for us so much. And we're so grateful. You. you know, advocates, uh, you're right about the child abuse because uh, Bartow County actually is the fourth uh, county behind the metro counties in foster care per capita. So oh, we have a lot of these cases and it has risen over the years and we do and we are so thankful for the advocates that help us with this. But I want to now talk to little Hannah Rhodes. Would you like to introduce Hannah because this is really special. What a fabulous <laughs> talent. She was a find. We found her last year. Well actually I found her 12 years ago when my beautiful daughter Rebecca Rhodes had this lovely young thing. And Hannah has just been a wonderful star in our lives, and she loves to sing and play the piano and do all sorts of things, but she auditioned for the very first time last year for Every Child a Star. Tell us about what you did, sweetheart. Um, well, I sang a song from Les Miserables uh, called Castle on a Cloud, and I thought it was really fun to participate in Every Child a Star. Hannah, I remember being there for your audition and the performance, and it was so good. <laughs> but you know, there's a lot of good talent there. So sometimes uh, people are involved for all kinds of reasons. Sometimes the students, they win, and sometimes they are just participants. Uh, you won in a category that was new last year. It was the highest number of ticket sales. Uh, how in the world did you sell your ticket? Well, I talked to all my friends and family, and I'm like, you got to come see Every Child's Star because I'm going to be in it this year and I really want you to come see me. And my, some of my family from Virginia came down and saw me and I sold a bunch to my friend's family too. Well, you had so much stage presence and confidence. Do you perform a lot? No. You don't? Well, I hope you will keep she it up. She performs at my house regularly. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the big question, Hannah. Are you going to participate in the audition this year? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. We're going to be so glad to have you. Um, you know, Every Child's a Star takes all kinds of acts. And uh, Hannah did a solo act, and in a minute I'm going to introduce April. They did solo acts, but we also have bands and groups. And just like Danae said, the more unusual, the better, because that's what the audience likes. Um, I'm so excited to be here with April. Uh, April is kind of my uh, alumni point person this year. She's going to help us uh, try to come up with ideas to help bring about the alumni and celebrating the 20 years. Mm -hmm. But April, first off, can you just tell um, the audience, like, what, what, where are you in your life, your stage of life right now? Um, I am about to graduate college. <laughs> Um, I'm an education major, and we today was sports day. <laughs> um, so I'm teaching first grade, um, still pursuing music um, after 
I think I started Every Child's a Star in like the fifth grade. So <laughs> it's been <Yeah>. a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, just um, starting my career and, and hoping to you know, continue doing music. It's a huge passion. Now April's being a little shy, but she has continued very strongly in the performing arts area. Don't, don't be too shy about bragging a little bit. <laughs> Tell about some of the awards that you've, what have you done since being a part of Every Child's a Star? Um, I, since graduating high school, I did my last year was uh, my senior year and since graduating high school I have joined the Georgia Country and Gospel Music Association. Um, through that association I was able to um, go to the state and national level and be able to compete on the gospel and country side. So I do both um, and I've focused more toward gospel and the last year I was able to release my first album which was a huge, a huge thing for me. So I am um, Currently, I'm signed with Sweet Southern Entertainment, and they produce my albums and just do my booking and things like that. Bravo, bravo. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I mean, we are so proud, and we have stories like that from Every Child's a Star mm -hmm. that are just going on, going, and we hope to share those during the performance. So April, um, did Every Child's a Star, being a part of it, did it have any kind of impact? Did it play any role in what you did after that or being a part of the, the, the gospel country yes. uh, organization? I would definitely say that it did. Um, I was a very, very shy child, <laughs> extremely <laughs> shy. Um, the first year I did Every Child's a Star was in, I was in fifth grade. I did it with two other girls. We had a little trio. Um, and then I started doing it again by myself in high school and just finally decided that I really just enjoyed it and it was a huge mm -hmm. passion of mine and I couldn't see myself not performing. So it definitely played a role in the last four years of my life. <laughs> so. Well, that's great. You know, there's so many kids that sometimes every child of stars is their very first time, just like Hannah said. And then they get the feedback that, hey, you know, I did it. I had the confidence to get up in front of people and people liked me. Maybe I should you know, participate in more performing arts events. And we see uh, testimonials after testimonials of students that did that and have gone on to uh, pursue a, a career or just more of a hobby in the performing arts. And we, we love that about Every Child's mm -hmm. a Star. So Hannah, we have auditions coming up in a few weeks. What would you tell some boys and girls that are maybe, or their parents, or grandparents that might be uh, listening to this uh, little episode right now, what would you tell them to do? If they're a little bit nervous or they're thinking, oh, I kind of like to do it, but I don't know, what would you say to them? Well, really, once you get on stage, you think you're, really, you're gonna be really, really scared, but you end up not being scared at all, and I ended up loving being on stage and all eyes on me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I love participating in Every child's a star. Yes. Well, sometimes it takes a little nudge. Did you decide that all on your own, or did a parent or a grandmother or somebody say, you ought to do that and kind of encourage you to do that, or did you just want to do it all by yourself? Well, my mom and my granny were telling me <laughs> I needed to do it. Yes, and that's so true because so many times, you know, a, uh, a, ch a parent will say, well, my child hasn't said anything about it. And a, a parent has to encourage or a, a family member or maybe even a neighbor and say, you ought to do this and really try to encourage them and stay after them. I'm going to just wrap it up and I want you to, if you want to have more information about the Every Child's a Star audition, you can go to Advo child.org and you can get on their website you can find all the details the audition is December the 15th and the 18th you don't need to come to both you can just come to one whichever fits your schedule and please know that um, even if you don't have something prepared that you're going to definitely do for the performance just come out for the audition because you can be cast and change your song um, and and just give it a shot and we look forward to seeing you we want a bunch of people to come out and celebrate this wonderful tradition of every child's a star